good morning. Uh, choosing the right case uh, is very essential for the beginners to start with. And the right eye is preferred for the beginners to avoid the nose barrier. Uh, grade 3 nuclear sclerosis is uh, ideal. Uh, people should be well dilated. And cornea should be clear. And deep seated eyes should be avoided. Uh, and adequate lead exposure is essential. An AC depth should be 2.5 to 3 millimeter because shallow AC and hypermetropic eyes are difficult to work with as uh, there is very little space between endothelium and capsule. And deep chambers and myopic eyes are also very difficult to work with uh, because of chamber fluctuations in myopic eyes. A good red glow is essential and uh, second eye is preferred. Now coming to the trenching and uh, cracking. Because of angulation, uh, 45 degree tips uh, gives uh, more uh, sculpting than trenching and 15 degree tips gives more occlusion uh, than trenching and 0 degree tips gives uh, occlusion only. It has got no trenching capability. And uh, 30 degree tip is an ideal combination for trenching and occlusion. Aspiration uh, flow rate should be mild to moderate as no fallibility or occlusion is uh, required. And vacuum uh, should be minimum as only the trench material needs to be removed. And power setting depends on the hardness of the nucleus. Uh, harder the nucleus, greater the power. And the continuous ultrasound is preferred over interrupted in hard cataract. And in soft cataract, softer energy like micropulse or torsional can be used. And 1 to 1.5 millimeter tip exposure is essential. Now trenching should be started from the one end of the, in front of uh, brexit margin and on the other side it should uh, fall, uh, stop just in short of the other side and it should not cross the brexit margin. If the cataract is hard, a trench should be wide and long and in harder cataracts, more energy setting is required. In softer cataract, the, the trench should be short and narrow and less energy should be used. The angle of attack is the angle between the phaco needle and the anterior surface of the lens and it should be 45 degree. Otherwise, superficially we may create a chip and might injure the rexis. And one third of the tip should be buried in the nucleus to get perfect trenching. Energy is proportionate to the resistance uh, of the nucleus and harder the nucleus, more energy to be used. And in softer nucleus, less energy to be used. And if we want to emulsify more nucleus at a time, the more energy should be used. And if we bury the tip too much in the nucleus, the tip doesn't trench but pushes the nucleus. And the same thing happens if we use the less energy or be shy on the paddle. The cataract is not only hard, but it is uh, very thick in the center because the nucleus is biconvex in nature. And the more tissue should be trenched in the center and no, more, um, uh, and no energy should be wasted while uh, coming back. The more energy should be used to trench in the center. And every time we refocus the microscope to see clearly. Uh, remove small chips carefully during uh, deep trenching, otherwise you can blow a hole in the periphery. And uh, while rotating, if we push the nucleus at the middle of the trench, we will get a very sm small uh, lever arm, so the rotation will be difficult. But if we uh, push the nucleus from the end of a uh, tunnel and we get a big lever arm and the rotation will be easier. And uh, while uh, trenching, we uh, trench at the one end and then rotate the nucleus to complete on the other end. And during trenching, you can uh, counterbalance the force of trenching by fixing the nucleus with a Sinsky hook. 
and this video shows a superficial trench angle of attack is less than 45 degree and thus creating a thin chip and this is a deep trenching the FECO needle engage too deep thus creating occlusion and pushing the nucleus to the periphery and if we use less energy or BSI on the paddle the trenching will be minimum and the pushing the nucleus and we need to uh, maintain a adequate uh, uh, group width otherwise the FECO slip or tip will not go in so the deep trenching will be difficult now coming to the cr cracking uh, place two instrument at the deeper part of the uh, group and uh, apply equal forces on either side and if we use uh, more force in the while one instrument and uh, there will be traction on the opposite side and if we try to divide in superficial part the nucleus will not get cracked and while cracking cracking should uh, start at the periphery of the group and then if it is incomplete then rotate the nucleus 180 and then crack can be completed from the other periphery in the center the uh, nucleus is hard so it is difficult to crack in the middle of the nucleus and moreover we do not get a very good fulcrum insufficient trenching does not uh, crack even after repeated attempts it will not again the if we place the two instrument in the superficial part of the group it will not get cracked but if we place the instruments at the deeper part of the group it will get cracked easily and this video demonstrate the right trenching and the cracking the trenching started at the one in just in front of the rexis margin and stops just in sort of uh, rexis margin on the other side and adequate uh, groove width is maintained and small uh, particles has to be removed and trenching continued and the deeper part the one side completed then rotate the nucleus 180 for trenching in the upper part of the nucleus and during uh, deep trenching refocusing uh, of the microscope is essential and these steps may have to be repeated if required again you can rotate and complete do more trenching and going to the more deeper and place two instrument at the deeper part and start doing cracking at the periphery and then rotate 180 degree to get the complete cracking thank you